you ever have anybody say to you, how's life treating you? <laughs> well, life doesn't treat me too well, but God does. I want to talk to you about the Apostle Paul for just a moment. In the book of 2 Corinthians, the second letter that he wrote to the church in Corinth, in chapter 11, he talks about the things that he suffered. Numerous times he was imprisoned. He was flogged. He was exposed to death again and again. He received the famous 39 lashes from the Jews five times. He said he was beaten with rods three times. He was stoned once and survived that. He was shipwrecked three times. He says he spent a day and a night out on the open sea, and I don't think he had a life jacket. He said he was always on the move, that he was in danger from rivers, from bandits, from his own countrymen. He'd gone without sleep, without food, and without water. He'd been cold and naked. And he says, who is weak, and I do not feel weak? That's the Apostle Paul, the, the famous evangelist of the gospel. But there's something interesting about Paul, and that is he was a man who was filled with joy. Really? Yeah. The book of Philippians is known as, as the book of joy. And in the book of Philippians, which is a letter that he wrote to the church of Philippi, Paul uses the Greek word for joy or rejoicing 16 times out of 104 verses. So I think we could say that Paul was a powerfully thankful man. Gratitude just flowed in his veins. In all of Paul's writings, there are 49 occurrences on the theme of gratefulness. 49. Gratefulness to God and gratefulness to others. He was a very thankful person. Now, that's hard to understand for us, isn't it? I mean, I mean, look what the man suffered constantly. But while he was in prison, he wrote that letter to the church at Philippi. And in that letter, he says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Wow. Dear ones, you know what I think? I think if Paul can do it, with all that he went through and all that he suffered, I think that I can do it too. How about you? Rejoice today in the Lord.